Hey everybody, it's Miss Ruin. Today we are going to create this quick geometric watercolor painting. It looks like this, this middle one right here. It's fun, it's easy, and it's a great way to practice using your watercolors and doing the wet into wet technique. So let's go ahead and look at the supply list. This is what you'll need. You need your watercolor paper, paintbrush, water cup, pencil, scratch paper, something that has a straight edge. If you have a ruler, that's great. You need your watercolor paint and also your palette paper or a regular palette would, be, would work just as well. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your sheet of paper. I have already traced a circle on mine. You do not need to have a circle if you're just doing this for fun. But for this project with my students, that's what you'll need. And I'm gonna grab my palette paper, my paint. So the first thing that you do with this is you need to kind of create a shape right in the middle. So if you take a look at my example right here, it could be anything. And you're gonna do that either with a ruler or a small sheet of paper that has a nice straight edge, okay? Especially the corner, you can use this corner all the time. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna randomly place that and trace that. So I'm almost done with my shape. I just need to make sure that my lines line up. Great, okay, so there's my starting shape. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly build around it. So if you can see my picture here, my example, you wanna create a space around all of your shapes. That's what makes this look so interesting. And, but it is the part that's gonna take the longest. So I'm basically just kind of um, creating parallel lines, but also creating new shapes. So I'll use the edge of the paper as a ruler. And let's see, just it can really be anything. So I'm creating a parallel line next to this piece. And then I'm just gonna keep going from there. So you can make any sided shape that you want. It really doesn't matter. This is all just for fun. But you do need, it, the precise lines really help when you're painting. It's, working with watercolor is incredibly challenging. And so by doing this, you'll have a lot more practice and it's kind of a neat thing when you're all done. So you just keep doing this until you fill the entire space. So I've done that here. So you can see how I kind of built up around it and then added all these shapes afterwards. Okay, great. So now you, once you have the entire space filled up with all these different shapes, you're gonna use the wet into wet technique to add your color. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna choose the colors. You're gonna choose just three colors. So in my original example, I used red, orange, and purple, okay? And since we're using our concentrated watercolors right here, if you have something like this, then you'd have to mix them to create those colors. And you wanna mix them on your palette first, okay? So we're gonna do kind of a mix of wet and wet. So the first wet and wet you can do is just with water. So you can paint the shape in the middle or any shape really with water. And then you're gonna go in here, I'll, I forgot to choose my colors here. And you're gonna add your paint. So first I need to create some paint on my palette. And I like starting with adding the paint to the edges so that the edges are dark. And then as it bleeds to the middle, it'll get lighter and lighter. So I'm probably just gonna leave it just as is. So that's how you do the wet into wet with just water. Let me get my other colors here on the paper. So let's do red. And how about purple? Grab some of my blue. Great, ooh, that looks nice. 
Okay, so now what I would like to show you is wet into wet technique where you're mixing two different colors. So for me, I'm gonna choose the darkest color to create that border, and then I'll use a, a lighter color for the center. So purple out of these three is gonna always be the darkest. So I'll do purple first. And I'm painting directly with that, washing out my brush. I'm also drying it as well, just a little bit. Grab some of that red, and I'm gonna fill in the middle first, and then I will kind of connect it. Then it keeps that red in the middle more pure, so it doesn't mix too much. So you have this nice brightness. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing that so I can show you a few other examples. This time I'm gonna choose red. Oh, sorry, I mean blue. It's red's on the brain because that's the color I'm gonna use. And I'll do the middle as red. I'm gonna rinse it out and dry my brush off so that when I mix this, it makes this really soft transition. And I could pull it into the blue if I wanted to kind of mix it more. But that's really it. So another thing that you can do, let's say you wanna go back and add another color. Sometimes I'll just add water to a piece that I've already worked on and then add some more color to it just like that. So now I have these two colors kind of bleeding towards the middle and I have this really nice value in the center. So I'll just show you how you can do that again. So if you wanna do the wet into wet, your paper always needs to be wet first, either with wet paint or with just water. I like to just blot my brush. That's the wet into wet. So it's really fun, it's very satisfying, super relaxing. It's just a great activity if, you know, that once you have this detailed drawing done, then honestly the possibilities are really endless. You could just keep doing this over and over and over again. But I'll continue until I fill in all the shapes and then you'll have something just like this. So I hope you have fun with it, enjoy it, and remember always to work light to dark. Okay, bye-bye.